What is going on YouTube at Big Brain Gang? It is Trad One once again back again with another video and welcome to Music Degree Reactions. I am super excited to be back with another video by Tom McDonald titled America. I've heard a lot of good things and a lot of you guys have been telling me how badly you guys want me to break this down. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the Big Brain Gang. There's so many links down in the description that you guys can that you guys can go and support, go check out and you guys can meet other big brainers. If you guys don't know what I do over here, what I like to do and what I enjoy doing is through my music degree I give you guys more of a full complete breakdown where I do talk about lyrics and stuff some of the symbolism through his videos But what I love to talk about is the musical breakdown from him the visual aspects from Nova the musical elements from uh, from Evan So many cool things that I love to break down I just like to bring to attention that a lot of reactors and other people that break down music don't really catch So anyway, I hope to bring some new information to the table for you guys if I do Drop a like, hit the sub button, go follow the Twitch, go join the Discord, and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get started with what you guys came here for. Hope to see you guys around, and it's going to be a great time. I hope to see you guys on the other side of this video. Thanks for talking music with me, and as always, stay true, stay you. Let's get it, baby. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. Uh. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. I'm tired Woo! of the and complaining. Already? You living in America if all you do is hate it. You think it's brave to take a stand against the nation. Real bravery is dying for the right so you can say it. Dear America. Mm, man, dude. I was already talking about some very important things that, again, a lot of people my age may not really understand all the time, but... Also, obviously, really great points that if you guys are watching, you probably agree with or you at least respect the message. A couple things I want to talk about in the beginning is that song I hear. Like, it's more like a like a bubbly, echoey sound. Maybe if you were like to play an instrument through a walkie-talkie. But it's more like a... Like, a, like an echo of a sound. Kind of cool. It gives you kind of the idea that it's like in the background. So when his voice comes through, if you guys notice, his voice is like... A little bit more sharper, like it's more in, in the forefront of everything else. Usually, like everything's kind of blended together. It's like his voice, and then the music is all back here. And I guess the reason why they did that is because right when the music comes, boom, it's like right in your face, and it's like a really strong impact, which is really cool. Um, it's kind of a slow tempo. I want to say like a. It's about right here. So when he's rapping, he's actually doing 16th notes, which I'll add right here. It's just where you fit four notes into one beat, but he's actually accenting. If you guys see that there's four in total, he's accenting one and three. So he's going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Putting accent on one and three, you know? Salt and pepper, as we like to call uh, here at the Big Brain Gang. Pretty dope. When they best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that were burying. I'm tired of the pissing and complaining. Why you living in America if all you do is hate it? You think it's brave to take a stand against the nation? Real bravery is dying for the right so you can say it. Dear America, what happened to Americans? Mm. Apparently, no one's aware or cares that it's embarrassing. It's arrogance. Our greatest enemy was always slavery and terrorists. And now it's people in the country trying to burn the heritage. Yikes. I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different It ain't Republicans or liberals, it's mental illness The internet is only mm. interested in left opinions Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment <laughs> If we don't like it, leave, we will not defund police We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets We respect freedom of speech, we protect what we believe We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me Dang, that's pretty crazy. And that's an interesting argument to bring up where you're not talking about right or left. You're just talking about mental illness and kind of the underlying ideas that are, uh, you know, like the more important big brain ideas that are affecting people, you know, like left or right is just how they um, decide to maybe express their opinions. But like the the underlying kind of thing that's affecting everybody, the internet, you know, um, spending, you know, too much time on your phone, like all of that kind of stuff that he's talked about before. It's interesting that he's finally like bringing that up as like one of the biggest problems of what's, you know, starting the craziness that's happening right now. Freedom of speech, we protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. <laughs> in America, Woo! Oh yeah. Free in America, got soldiers dying overseas, so America, Dude, that chorus is so sick. There's like a sound in the back. I, I think it sounds something like that or it's like a hum. Maybe it's lower, but there's some instrument that's going like super high. It sounds cool. But that's why it's so full and so in your face. I don't think there's a lot of layers. All I hear is like a kind of going. And then it's obviously like melody that you heard in the beginning. Uh, but there's like, some, I, need to, I need to hear that again. There's like something like super full. That's like, it just sounds like a lot in your ear. 
Uh, that's what it is, dude. I think that's what it is. You guys can, I, I don't know. I think sometimes Evan likes to pop in here sometimes. I think that's what I hear just in the background. Ah, uh, and it almost sounds like Tom's voice too. Do not tread on me. In America, you're free to make free. In America, soldiers dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't ever take a knee. Our freedom is the reason. <laughs> Yo. Bro, so many people don't understand that, dude. In America, the literal reason why you're able to say all of these things. In America, is, it's like one of the, I mean, not one of the only, but like you're able to talk about how much you hate America and you should be appreciative of how you're able to speak up and do that because there's so many other countries where they'll just call it hate speech, chop your head off, and then like you're dead. You know what I mean? Like, God, it's just so crazy that like regardless of your opinion, you know, like that doesn't matter. That's not what I'm talking about. The fact that you have the freedom to express that opinion is what you should is is what you should appreciate. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't I guess it's kind of a complicated idea for some people. Does anybody know what the hell happened to the Patriots lately? This nation is so ashamed and hating itself. Did everyone forget mm. the people? Jan them. Jan them. Jan, that's called falling in the triplet grid. But the second note, I'll show you guys what triplets are right here. But that second note is hanging off just a little bit instead of triplet, triplet, triplet. Jan, da, jan, da. This kind of sounds more like a jazz type of thing. Jack, da, jack, da. That's cool, man. People died to pay for this ungratefulness. United States gave everything to you just to help. I just want to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. I don't need your help to understand it was a tragedy. Can I just be thankful for my country eating happily without you trying to guilt me for the genocide and casualties? Yeah. I can't help it. I just seem to see the. Can we just appreciate this frame real quick? Damn, that's a that's a, that like that symbolism. Oh, it just looks really cool, man. Without you trying to guilt me for the genocide and casualties, I can't help it. I just seem to see the world different. It ain't black or white. It's conflict designed by the system. I don't need your pronouns. All I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. If you don't like it, go hate it. Then don't call it wow. home. We don't need no violence. Got no time for all you. Now I hear like a double reverb on his voice. You're gonna hear his voice is a little bit thicker right here. Um, that's probably to start like playing with the tone a little bit just for the ending finale to where, you know, it kind of makes you feel a little different. Oh, I like hear something different. And then at the end, it brings you back to first base, back to home, back to the chorus, whatever it is. It's cool. The way that they structure these songs is honestly, <clears throat> it makes you want to nod your head. It makes you feel like you're at home. It kind of like establishes something to where you feel comfortable, kind of goes second, third base, and then it makes a full circle and you're back to home by the end. I don't need your pronouns. All I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. <clears throat> if you don't like it, go hate it, then don't call it home. We don't need no violence, got no time for all you radicals. Screw the status quo, we're not animals. I won't kneel for the anthem because the flag is what I'm standing for. <laughs> In America, Woo. Uh... In America, got soldiers dying overseas. So, America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't mm. ever take a knee. Our freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your backs. America, you can hate the government and still Ooh. love the country. The fundamental values of America are country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. Okay, so there's two really cool things about this. And again, at the end of Tom's songs, he's always finally taken out the... Um the, the things that he does to get a reaction out of you, right? He kind of dials it back and it's more of like, okay, dude, this is literally what I'm talking about. If you can't agree on this, then we have a problem. Um, but it's really cool because that snare in the background, oh, ksh, ooh, ksh, it either sounds like two things, right? It almost sounds like there's a huge crowd arena of people and it's like, ksh, ksh, like the ah, ah type of thing. That's kind of what comes to mind. Or it's just like a really echoey open legato snare drum i'll show you guys legato right here but it doesn't really apply uh but just in case you guys were wondering how it's notated out like in music usually has a line under a bunch of notes uh, but it's just really open right and it's opposite of staccato i'll show that anyway just so you guys have some extra information leaving this video um but that's really cool it's, it changes up the textures a little bit the second thing though is that he's actually doing what a lot of jazz drummers do is right here he's laying a little bit behind the beat so if you guys notice he's pronunciating all of his words and then he's actually laying down like laying back on the beat a little bit and it kind of provides a little bit of comfortability you kind of just like chill out a little bit and it makes you listen to the words because it's not so on top in front of the beat and intense when you're laying back on the beat as jazz is 
really relaxed and really chill. And so kind of having a message tagged along with that helps it be, um, I guess, maybe taken a little bit easier by people that may not agree. So cool. And these are things that music affects that a lot of people don't even know. But like this is a lot of like laying back on the beat and, and relaxing. If you have a message that Tom is trying to relay to you, that's also a good approach to have because mentally the music is making you chill out and you'll be a little bit more open to the message, if that makes sense. The kings and liberals are dumb, to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Siren? Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. We started out United States, divided is what we've become. If home is where the heart is, you should show America some love. Mm. In America, the freedom ain't free. In America, got soldiers dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe, my America. That's a cool song, man. I like that a lot. That's a really cool song. Nah, man, totally. I totally dig that. I thought that was super, super cool. The message is obviously a really important message that a lot of, that a lot of people may need to hear. So many little cool nitpicky things in the music, though, that I really, really dig. So to the whole team, the whole Hangover team, super cool, really enjoyable, and a lot of cool things that I like to point for that I like to just point out. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys are probably gonna enjoy me when I go live. Hang out. Maybe in the Discord, meet some other Hangover gang and a lot of other people that are there hanging out in the Big Brain gang. Happy to have you guys here. Hope you made it to the end of the video. I'll see you guys very, very soon in either the next stream or YouTube video. And stay true, stay you. See you guys very soon. I'm out. Peace.